Well, good evening. <clears throat> I just getting off a hangout. Somebody was really rude to one of my female guests, which was ridiculous. Uh, and I apologize for their actions. Uh, tonight I want to talk about the scare of this CB virus that's going around. I talked to my doctor. He said it wasn't too much to worry about and concern right now. And he's a fellow prepper like me. He said the biggest thing is if it got a breakout over here, your best bet is to isolate yourself. He said that's basically all you could do. He said, uh, you know, he's a prepper like I am. In fact, he's in my group. And so uh, he said uh, he was uh, talking to me about losing weight, this, that, and the other. And I know I need, I need to lose some more weight. And then I've got, I've lost anywhere from three to seven pounds a month, which he said that's a good schedule to keep, you know, because I've been eating a little healthier. I cheated today and had a candy bar, uh, which ain't good for my diabetes. But anyway, back on that CV virus, is there any virus or any outbreak? He said, isolate yourself like they did in the Black Plague. He said, they boarded themselves up this, that, and the other, which uh, it was caused by rats and fleas, which wasn't, wasn't too good idea, but we didn't have the technology we got today, or the Google, or the YouTube, or the Facebook, or anything else to see how fast information spread around the world. We really don't know what causing this. They haven't got a cure, so they haven't got a cause. They said it's some kind of respiratory trouble. Oh, you guys, hush. Do I have to take them? <laughs> Probably so. They're my new kids. going to eat you guys, but I didn't put enough food up, but anyway, isolate yourself up, basically get yourself prepared for a down situation, a lot of them have to work, be awful careful if you work in a building around a bunch of people, and uh, check your things that's coming from China, you'd be surprised what's actually coming from China, from anywhere from medicines to shipping supplies, cleaning supplies, everything's just coming from China nowadays. And don't pop that bubble wrap that comes in, throw it in trash. Because that's uh, closing up air that's coming from China. We don't know. They said, well, if they first start out 14 days. Well, now it's 28 days. Now they had a case of 28 to 35 days. We don't know what the gestation period is on this, actually. So therefore, we don't know really how long we'd have to be isolated up. But if you possibly could isolate yourself from others and be awful careful when you go out to buy supplies of this, that, and the other, or even on a job, I think I would stay back at least three to four foot from anybody, even in talking into them, and wear a mask. If they didn't like that, oh well, what are they going to do for you for wearing a paper mask? You don't want to breathe on them. They don't want to breathe on you either. But I think that we've not heard the end of this yet. I really don't think so. I think it's going to get down there where it's really affecting some of the larger population. If a place like China and some other places around the world shuts down whole cities, whole countries, and they're not letting a ship come in for docking and this, that, and the other. They're, they're, quite, a lot, they're right, quite scared about it. So therefore, uh, it's because it's not in America yet. And I stress the word yet. Don't mean it can't get here. And it'd be as bad as China. Everybody says that the American people are real prepared, this, that, and the other. No, they ain't. How many people are preppers? That's, that's a good one way to look at it. Probably 3%, 2 to 3%. And out of 2 for 3 percent, uh, some of them just entertain the idea of prepping. They ain't really preppers. They're after the money on YouTube or the prestige or, oh, uh, look at me, I'm a prepper by a gun. Well, okay, what we do? What I'm saying, isolating yourself, I made a couple of kidding videos early in uh, a couple of two or three of them. And uh, I just joking around what what could happen. And I think seriously come to serious, and I ain't kept the kid in a bit. What do you want up in my lap tonight? No, no. Uh, I think we need to pay more attention. There's a woman I watched named TJ, 
and uh, she was talking about it. Uh, that's what I'm saying. That you pay more attention to what's going on in your neighborhood, around your area. And uh, get off these prepper channels that ain't making much sense. I'd like to have ones that's reading, like she's just reading newsreels from all over the world. She's basically not selling you a product. She ain't, uh, uh, she ain't trying to, uh, you know, up, maybe she is trying to raise uh, people on her channel. But really, she's not monetized. She's not getting anything out of this other than trying to keep people informed. And if this really does hit, you better be isolated and have enough food. My doctor, he's a prepper like I am. In fact, like I said, belongs to my group. Uh, he said the best way to do it is to stay isolated from yourself. If you can isolate yourself during the worst of it, you might have a chance of surviving. But we don't know exactly what caused it. They know there's no cure. We don't know how many people is actually surviving from it and actually after they've already caught it. We know little to nothing. We don't know if antibiotics are uh, uh, helping or hurting or anything. I mean, we don't know this zilt. And I was looking on some of my medicines, you know, and uh, some of it's made in China, of all things. Uh, you know, try to buy vitamins and other things that's made in America. A lot of times your prescription drugs are already made in United States, but a lot of your secondary drugs like your vitamins, your cod liver oil, everything like this, it's probably all made in China. You just have to look on the label. You really don't want to be ingesting anything that's coming from China right now. I, just to be honest with you, I don't think I'd want to take medicines that's coming from China. I really don't think so. In fact, I've thrown all mine away and I'm sticking to the American brand. If it don't say married in America, don't want it. And a lot of times, if it don't say anything, it's made in China. You know, it might be packaged over here, but it was made, actually, the product itself was made in China. I've got to let you go. Remember, you should have started prepping two or three years ago, but it ain't too late to start putting a little bit extra. You know, buy that extra package of beans or buy the extra can of soup or whatever. Uh, Go back through and see what uh, cleaning products, alcohols, bleach, and stuff. You can buy another gallon of bleach or whatever. And buy just the plain bleach. bleach. You don't buy that, oh, it's lemon flavored and I mean livered and scented and all that other shit. Just buy the basics. Pine salt. Vinegar would, uh, apple vinegar makes a good cleaning agent. It's a germ killer. I mean, if you can't find bleach, but sold out, buy vinegar. Clean with vinegar. White vinegar, yellow vinegar, any of that vinegars. I mean, it'll kill anything. Well, I'm going to let you go and remember. If you don't do it, ain't nobody else going to do it for you. Take care.